from the VSDC editor, select Blank Project. Name your project and select the background color as white. Set the editor screen to 10%. Select your photo to place on the editor screen. Set the duration length to at least 09.500. Select Crop Borders, then select Custom Region. Crop out the top and bottom of the unwanted areas for your panorama. The thinner, the better. After cropping, set the original size to OK. Crop out white spaces, top and bottom. Grab bottom right corner and expand it to the right slightly. Expand to maximum width. Align the image on the left edge of the screen. Click and turn on Grid Setting. Click on your image, then click on Scene on the timeline, and then click on your image title. When you do this, the movement icon should be active. Click on the icon and leave to Objects End. Then click OK. Grab the movement box on the middle of the image and drag it to the left so that the end of the panorama stops at the right border. Click on the left movement box and then go to the Properties window. Under Path Starting Point, select Yes. Next, up on Object Creation Time and under Time Frames, set at 300. Go to the right movement box, click on it, and in the Properties window, make sure that the path starting point is set to Yes. Up under Object Creation Time and Time Frames should be set at zero. Preview and export to a folder. Select Outgoing Video Format. I use WMV. Change the name and select the proper folder for your project. Add your title later or they will move with the panorama. Then click on Export Project. When exported is complete, select New Project up in the upper left hand corner and add title. Open your exported video and add your title. Review and export your finished scene. The same process will work with any background image.